What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Harbor Freight Hercules Universal Surface Grinding Dust Shroud. So supposedly this product will help cut down the amount of dust that I'm going to be creating by grinding down a lot of this old mortar so that I get a smoother surface while I attempt to fix these cracks as you can see there. So what we're going to do is attach this to my $15 Harbor Freight angle grinder review I have recently done on another video. So um, yeah, so we'll attach this to that. And then that goes to my shop vac. Hopefully it will actually cut down the amount of uh, dust because it is a very dusty process. And at the same time, we'll be using this, I don't know how to pronounce that, Kasabi um, diamond cup wheel used to grind down concrete. So we'll also see if this does a pretty good job. It should, it's got good reviews on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. So yeah, without further ado, let's get uh, this, connect this, and this, connect to this, and let's get to grinding and see how well all these work together. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up without cutting it, breaking it. Let's see if I can do it in front of the camera. So, as you can see, it's got various adapters for various uh, angle grinders, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of universal. Um, got some bristles here. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can change the angle of the guard, so that's cool. So, yeah, let's get the rest of it unboxed. Adapters and the instructions should be straightforward. We'll find out. Okay, now let's try to get this blade off because we're not going to be cutting any concrete, we're just grinding right now. Okay, so it looks like in order to remove this, we just need to loosen up that screw. It should slide off, so let's give it a shot. Oh, there's the adapter. Okay, first thing we want to do is probably remove this shield. there. Whoa, sorry about that guys. <laughs> mm. Ah, got it. Had to like twist and turn and pull. All right, so that's off. Now, 
Let's see, what size do I need? Is this the right size? Nope. How about this one? Just get tight. Nope. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Winner, winner, chicken dinner, we got it. All right, so we'll leave that there. Okay, so let's this open up. I think that should be good enough. Let's see what happens. Still not tight enough. Let's need another ring. Maybe this one. Maybe that's what this is for. Probably. Okay, I got it in. There's a little notch right there that the clip needs to set in so it doesn't interfere. Anyway, so looks like we got that. Let's put this on here. Alright, nice and tight, I guess. Let's make sure it's straight and clamp this down. Not very tight. I may need to tighten this screw. Okay, so I tightened that down a little bit. Let's see. It seems tighter. Tight-ish. But I think it's good enough for now. Maybe not. Hold on. Okay, so I tightened down this nut some more. You can see the screw is actually protruding. Now it's, now, when I clamp it, oh yeah, now we're nice and tight. All right, so looks like we're in good shape. Let's close this up so we get maximum dust collection action. Nice and tight, it's all closed up nicely. So now let's attach the uh, blade. All right, so we've got the Kasibi, Kasabi diamond cup wheel used for grinding down concrete. So let's open it up. All right, this thing's hefty. It's got some weight to it. Looks like it's pretty good condition, good quality. I forget what I paid for it. I'll put a link in the description of what I paid for. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's just got some tape holding on a washer. Goes in here, something like that. <laughs> now we need our adapter, put this on that Put the washer in now what did I do with this thing Nice and tight. Looking cool, man, looking cool. All right, so let's get the uh, vacuum shop vac connected to it and uh, let's get to grinding. Okay, so it comes with this adapter hose. This connects here. And then you can see on this side, depending on the size of shop vac you have, you've got three different sizes here. So let's see what size I've got. So the shop vac I use, I've got a Craftsman. Um, seems powerful enough. I don't know how many horsepower it is. 
doesn't say. Maybe it does, but bought it for $35 on Facebook Marketplace, so can't go wrong there. But um, let's see. Do, will it connect to this? Yes, it will. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it goes in like that. All right, let's get to it. Okay, everything's plugged in. Let's give it a shot. Well guys, as you can tell, this, this blade will eat concrete. Just eat it. No problem. I do need a more powerful grinder. $15 grinders are not what this is made for. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for something beefier than this because it's already super hot and you can see it stopped grinding as soon as I put any pressure on it. But, as an experiment, not bad, not bad. I'm really curious to see what would happen if I get giant grinder. Um, also, this dust shield, wow. Worth every penny I paid. It was only 30 bucks, and it works perfect. There was a little bit of dust coming out when I would lift it away from the I think my battery's dying. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, to conclude this video, um, I would say that that dust shield is really, really effective. Um, there is literally no dust in here from uh, me grinding this, uh, I don't know, eight inch section right here. Um, you can see how well, also, how well that disc ground down this crappy patch so yeah I've got a lot of work to do and I'm gonna need a bigger grinder for this um, but overall very happy with that it's well worth the money so if you're in the market for a dust shield for your grinder this is only going to be used with something some disc like this that smooths concrete, not for cutting. Because if you were, you can't cut with this. Um, but yeah, so leave any questions in the comments if you have any. I'll leave a link in the description for the shield, the grinding wheel, and this $15 angle grinder. Thanks for watching.